Hey everybody, Ryan Tyler with Skiers Marine here. And if you're in the market for a family bow rider that has some luxury features and premium appointments, I think we have the boat for you. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the 2021 Chaparral 267 SSX. Take a look. The Chaparral 267 SSX has a length overall of 26 feet 5 inches, a beam of 8.5 feet, a dry weight of 4,900 pounds. It's yacht rated and it has seating for 14 adults as far as seat space goes. Powered by a Volvo Penta 6.2 liter 300 horsepower dual prop outdrive and has a 65 gallon fuel tank. Before we hop on the 267 SSX, I wanted to point out some really cool stuff on the outside of the boat, as well as just how deep the freeboard is on this boat. So even with the lake level being down a little bit, look how tall it is. It's really deep, it's really secure, it keeps everybody in the cockpit. They can put a lot of dead rise in the hull. That way it has a really good rough water ride. It's just safe and a better experience for everybody in the boat. They make it really easy to raft up with these quick release fender locks that come on and off really easily. So it's easy to tie up to the dock when you're getting gas or going to the restaurant. It's easy to board as well. You have a few ways to board. One is this non-skid where I can step directly into the boat. Or my personal favorite is this full beam width swim platform. So when they went to the infinity power step and something that Chaparral is known for is not having a narrow swim platform. They want it to be easy to where it's not a big step. So when I board it, I'm only stepping across about four inches from the dock. It's really stable as I walk across. There's some cool things going on with this platform too. One of which it's really safe if it's wet because it's covered in sea deck material. That way you don't slide if it gets wet. We have oversized cleats to tie up to as well. So you have a six inch cleat here as well as a six inch cleat here. For 2021, the Infinity Power Step is a standard option. So to deploy, it's really easy too for when you are trying to hang out in the cove, get in and out of the water or just relax with your friends to do it. You just activate the step, hit the power switch. So to make it easier for your elderly guests to get in and out of the water or people that might have health issues, Chaparral thought of this really unique idea. They could take a rod holder that also doubles as a drink holder for when you're hanging out in the water. You can actually put a post down into it to where they give them something to grab on to either side to where it's a little easier for them to pull themselves out of the water on this oversized swim step. This is a huge social area on the boat. That's part of the reason it's tiered into three levels. So I can sit in the water, I can sit on the swim platform, and then I have stadium seating up top on this three wide bench seat. It's really comfortable, has a bunch of different features to it. But if you'll look, I can fit three adults really easily across this, and then we give this nice little jump seat. So even if I am using it in the convertible position, which is my personal favorite, I don't lose that seat. It's really comfortable. I can hang out with my wife or with your great kids or grandkids. It's just a great way to enjoy the cove or if you're wrapped it up with friends. It's easy to put back up too. You just push on this little mechanism that goes back closed. You have a ski tow eye for towing and skiing. And then we have a water sports arch on this boat as well with the EFX power folding arch. Transom stereo remote's also at the transom. So if I am in the water and I want to turn the music up to hear it, I don't have to get out of the out of the water into the boat to do so. And if I need to trim the out drive up or down, if we're on the shallow beach, we get a transom tilt switch as well. So coming into the boat, we have this nice oversized walkthrough. It's covered in sea deck so we don't slip if we're wet. We step down on the non-skid. And then we option this boat with the seaweed flooring that's really comfortable on your feet. It doesn't get hot, it's really soft. And then it's backed by rubber that way. It actually doesn't hold moisture as well. And then it has non-skid underneath. Looking in the boat, you can see the attention to detail Chaparral does. That's part of the reason they're known as one of the top three quality boat manufacturers. We have this really nice Naga hide vinyl. There's three different types, so you get a really rich color palette. All French stitching for that attention to detail. You can look at the veneer finishes with stainless steel hardware that look really good. This has a really high-end look to it. It's super comfortable. It's really deep, so when I sit down into it, You'll notice it cups me really well. It hits me at the small of my back. We have some really cool interior features as well. First of which is a carry-on, carry-out cooler. 
so I can load it at the dock or at the house and bring it down or at the gas station. We have wraparound seating. They actually take the time to curve this backrest. That way if I am have a boat full, if I'm just cruising around the lake, it's really comfortable for the person in the corner. They don't just make it go flat across like most manufacturers to save money. There's storage everywhere in this boat. If you want to see how deep this is, it goes just down past my knee. It's a great way to put life jackets, tubes, and floats you want easy access to. They actually take the time to make fiberglass cup holders. So instead of the plastic, it's cheap and you can order and wrap in vinyl. Fiberglass stands the test of time. All chaparrales are built with all stainless steel hardware, oversized grab handles, and materials that are known to last. So they build them to essentially be used in salt water. So in our freshwater environment, they last 40, 50 years. So coming forward, we have a really nice oversized helm and co-captain seat. There's some cool things going on with this seat. First of which is there's a grab handle on the back for the people behind them. They actually cut the bottom for airflow. That way it's more comfortable. They put the slide and the swivel up on top. That way you don't have to lift under your seat. So it's really easy to move it around. I don't have to dig under my seat to find the release. We have really good lumbar support right here. You'll notice it curves all the way around the cup of your back. An oversized bolster on those hot summer days when I need airflow or I want a little better visibility. And my favorite is that I can side saddle. So if I do want to twist sideways, I can really easily get in and out of the seat. I don't have to always swivel it. It's just easy to use. This boat's optioned with a really nice six speaker stereo has great quality sound. You can see they actually match the speakers to where they're placed in the boat. So anywhere there's gray, there'll be gray speakers. Up in the bow, you'll see anywhere there's white, there'll be a white speaker. Stainless steel hardware. Look at the attention to detail in the wood veneer and how they wrap this armrest for the passenger. Uh, really nice glove box storage too. So I can put my phone, my wallet, my keys, easy access to it if I need it. The cool thing too about a big family bow rider like this, especially in that luxury segment, is you do get a lot of storage features. Look at the attention to detail on this head door. So it's not just plain fiberglass, it's all French stitch wrapped in vinyl. Have a nice grab handle for the passenger. And when I open it, look at all the storage we have. And then we have a porta potty if in case we do have an emergency out on the water. So you don't have to always run back to the marina if you're doing all day boating. Closes really well, you see how solid that was. And they actually carry that over to the driver's side. So the passenger and the driver experience are very similar. We have a nice luxurious black brow. It's all vinyl wrapped, made out of fiberglass. Two seven inch glass dashes that have some really cool functions to them. So we have a GPS mapping, a sonar, pretty much anything you want to know about the boat. Stainless steel bezels and push button switches. EVC control, because this boat is equipped with a Volvo EVC engine, 6.2 liter 300. So it'll display all of our engine data, as well as a digital shifting throttle that's really smooth going in and out. The driver itself gets a really nice stereo transom remote, and they give you a cup holder so you can charge your phone, or if you want to put a drink there, it keeps it out of the sunlight to where it's not baking in the sun overheating. So this boat's powered by a Volvo 6.2 liter Gen 5, 300 horsepower engine. The cool thing about this motor is it's closed cooled. So it's actually cooled by antifreeze and a heat exchanger. So the only thing that has raw water pumping through it is the manifolds. So if you do want to take it to salt water, you don't have to worry about corrosion on the internal components of your engine. The other neat aspect is this little blue puck. So in Alabama, you can extend your boating season pretty much your year round if you have an easy way to winterize it. Because we do get hot summer day or hot days in December, January, and February. To winterize this motor is really easy. All you do is pull it out of the water, trim the outdrive down, push this little blue puck down, and all the water will come out of the foot and the motor. And if I do take it to salt water, they make it really easy to flush it out too. That way you don't have to worry about any corrosive elements inside the manifolds if I want to go to Florida or to the Panhandle. Take a look at all this stainless steel hardware. Like I said, Chaparral's known for a quality build. They really want their boats to last a really long time because this is a large investment. So they want to make it to where you're getting what you pay for. So this boat's also equipped with the white EFX folding power tower. 
So it's easy to lower if you do have to go under a bridge, put it in storage or put it in your garage. There's actually a switch on the dash. All I do is press it, comes on down really easily. You'll notice even in the lowered position, I can still drive it. So they give you a pass through to see through this oversized windshield. Then they put it back up. It's really easy as well. Just press that switch, it goes back up. It comes with an oversized Bimini that we have stowed in the boot right now just because it is a cooler day. So we do want the sun for warmth. And then before we move to the bow, look at this oversized windshield. Even when I sit in the seat, I can see through it really easily. If I use the bolster, it's not too tall to where I can't see over it, but it blocks all, all the elements really well. It has a really nice stainless steel windshield cap that wraps all the way around and gives it a nice sleek finished look. Really nice oversized wind dam. When you look at the front, you'll actually see they put the Chaparral logo right here. And then to shut off the elements completely, we can actually lower the wind, close the windshield and it's held open by a magnet. So I don't have a lift and lock I'm having to fumble with trying to get it to open. It's just magnetic, which is really easy for anybody to open and close. Underneath the storage door, we have a ton of storage in this console. So right now we have the Coast Guard safety kit because we're about to take it on a ride, but I could fit in there. You can put all your goods that you want easy access to that you don't want to get wet, like purses, towels, all that right there. You don't have to tell anybody to move to access it. Moving forward to the bow, look how deep this is. When I sit down in it, I mean, I'm down in it. It's really comfortable, it's safe. They do some cool things ergonomically I wanna point out. One, they don't make this a straight angle. They actually cup your back, that way you get lumbar support right here. It's really comfortable. So if I do wanna cruise down the lake, I have a nice armrest. I'm 5'10 and I don't even touch the front. So this boat is good for bigger people. And it's great for day boating because I'm not getting beat up all day in a shallow boat that I can go on rough water rides and I can go visit restaurants and go hang out in the cove, do a lot of fun stuff without having to come in. There's storage underneath all the seats. These are on articulating hinges that are stainless steel. And then the other cool thing they do is they make it easy to board and go to the beach. So if I do beach the boat, I have a nice step. It's all non-skid, so it doesn't matter if it's wet or dry. I have a flip up bow light that I can step on. So if I'm cruising around at night, I'm illegal but during the day. If I want to board at the beach, I can step on it and not hurt my foot or trip. Another neat aspect to the front of this boat is how they do their anchor storage. So held open by tension hinges, we get a four step boarding ladder. So if I am at the beach, I don't have to swim to the back. Then I have a great spot for a damn fourth anchor with the tie off and anchor roads, as well as cleats to tie off to. That way I don't have to tie it off to a grab handle or any other thing in the boat. Also in the bow of this boat, they think about the passengers as well, who are up here, they don't wanna to walk to the back to get a drink. So they give you an insulated cooler with an overboard drain. You can dump ice in there, a few drinks, and they can actually just hang out up here for a few hours and not have to bother people in the back. Really nice stereo system too up in the bow, so they each get their own speaker. But look at the attention to detail and the materials. You can just tell by looking at this, this is a really nice quality boat. So pulling away from the dock, look how beautiful the shear line is on this 267 with that black bootstripe and alloy gray hull side. It looks like it's going fast sitting still and still has that elegant look at the transom just to have a beautiful overall view. It's smooth and effortless. There's no pushback from the throttle. So it's a really easy to use throttle. Coming on plane, you'll notice the extended V-plane hole limits the bow rise. I never lose visibility and it actually comes on plane at 16 miles an hour and just rides effortlessly down the water. So not even use the bolster. I can look through the windshield and have a great view. Turning, it rolls gently side to side. That way you don't throw people in your boat. It's just a pleasant boat to ride in. Look how she handles the chop. Just breaks it away with that 22 degree dead rise.
Thanks for checking out the Chaparral 267 SSX with me. I really enjoy getting to show it to you and doing a quick seat trial. If it looked like it'd be something that would fit your family, come test ride it today and see if you like how it rides. We look forward to seeing you.